good morning everybody and happy Sunday morning. So today I want to do something a little bit different. I'm playing with my topiaries today. All of these here are compact myrtle topiaries, but that's not what we're going to talk about. Let's go into the potage because I want to show you one of the plants that makes life tolerable for me in the summertime um, and engage in a little bit of schadenfreude. So if you, uh, if it makes you feel better to, I guess, kind of indulge in the misery of others, then feel free to indulge in ours in Oklahoma because this week and checking out the forecast, we had multiple days in the 100 degree temps. So for those of you that are very jealous of our southern climate in the early spring when we have all sorts of things in bloom and you're still covered with snow, well, this is our payback. And our payback is the tremendous brutal heat that we get in the summertime. And pretty soon things are really gonna start to show it. And including this gardener, because it really begins to take its toll in July and August, which, by the way, is my least favorite time of year. So, forgive my messy area, and let's come over here. And yes, for those who ask, I am going to do another video on English ivy, and I'll talk about how I contain it back here, and yada, yada, yada about English ivy. But today, it's about rosemary. So I want to show you my little rosemary topiary collection. Most of these were all grown from starts. And yes, it did take a while for them to establish this shape. And later on in August, um, on LVTV, my video on demand channel, and by the way, Stuart's coming over later today, and we're going to shoot a video on what all that will include and how you subscribe and all of that kind of business. But one of the topics I'm going to be discussing in August is do a deep dive into rosemary and other of my favorite herbs and how I like to use them in both the garden and in my kitchen in projects um, in many, many different ways. So here I have topiaried all sorts of different sizes. Some of them need clipping, some of them need a new top dress of gravel. There's some germander there. Um, and I'll do a deep dive into how on LVTV on how to start rosemary from cuttings, etc, etc. But today I just wanted to show you how pretty these forms look. If you ever get any kind of ivy topiary or anything at Christmas time that has that circular ring and the plant dies, make sure to save that because at a later date you can reinvent it in some way. So lately I have really been enamored with this tall columnar form, really tall columnar form. And you can see this one, I'm going to have to get a taller stake because it is really starting to take off as are all of the rosemaries because they really like these hot temperatures. Um, rosemary do require more water than you would think if you let them dry out their toast. And later on I'll show you one that I did not take care of appropriately and it met its demise. Interestingly, I read that when they look like they need watering and their needles become very thin and pale gray, it's because not so much you may not be watering it adequately, but it just can't uptake the moisture and the nutrients because apparently a lot of that is its moisture it likes to take in through its foliage. So in the winter time, I don't like to spray them um, on the surface because it can, without good air circulation, it can um, lead to fungal problems. But right now, it loves it. So I spray them with the hose and give them that kind of ambient moisture that they need. So I just wanted to show you my little rosemary collection. And then later I'll be talking about my olive trees and figs. 
and it's very windy today. The wind is whipping down the plains here in Oklahoma, as they say. It's going to get very hot, so that's why I'm out here early in the morning. You can see the breeze. I think today it gets up into the low 90s, and then on Tuesday and Wednesday it's supposed to get up into the hundreds. Some other plants that I really like that have a Mediterranean feel are Silverado Sage, and of course my olive trees, and, and I'll talk a little bit more about those later. And I guess my olive trees, the figs, with the exception of maybe the rosemary, a lot of these Mediterranean plants I grow more because I just love their form and the color of their leaves. You can see that fig tree in the distance with those wonderful, wonderful leaves that just look incredible on a charcuterie board um, or as short-term placemats or whatever. So I'll be talking more about all of these Mediterranean plants a little bit later. But today, let's start thinking about rosemary and how we might use it in our gardens, in our homes. And if you have a favorite recipe you just love, would you please shoot it my way? I'm particularly interested in any kind of savory crackers or cookies that have rosemary in them. Along with lavender, the scent of rosemary just makes me swoon. That kind of intense piney scent. It's just, just beautiful. So you can see that I've got two of these really tall cones. I know it's always hard to see, but there's a really tall cone here. It's really filling out. This one is just two years old, and I just decided this year to train them in this regard. And then this one. And I'll do a table setting with them later so you can see how I like to style them. But right now, when other plants are not very happy and aren't wanting to put on bloom, these rosemary, if I keep enough moisture on them, will just thrive. And let me look. For a while, this circular wreath rosemary had some little blooms on it. I think they have all faded. So I'll do some clipping on them tell you how I treat if they have any issues which they sometimes can they uh, are prone to spider mite and powdery mildew and I'll talk about how I deal with all of that but today I thought you might just want to enjoy the prettiness of them and yes with this wind the scent is just wafting my way and it's really delicious so let me know what you've got going on out in your garden today. Make sure if you guys like these kinds of topics to hit the like button. Um, set notifications so when there's a new post out you'll get it. And make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Have a great Sunday you guys.